Hi, I'm Maddie Lovell from the Inspire Foundation and today I'm fortunate to sit down with our guest speaker, Jake Bailey. Jake, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Mate, you have a remarkable story. Do you ever sort of sit down and, and think what a crazy few years it's been for you? Yeah, I mean, I suppose there certainly are moments where I sort of kind of recap what, is, what has happened over the past few years and, and it, it certainly was unexpected, I suppose, was, was the main thing. And not only the initial diagnosis and, and my illness, but everything that's come as, as a result of it and, and how fortunate I've been to have the opportunity to share my story. Tell me about your mindset when you found out that you did have cancer. I, I felt nothing. Um, I didn't feel any of the emotions you might expect to feel. I didn't feel uh, afraid or scared. I, uh, I, I think more than anything there was just a real sense of I just need to, to go on and get on with this now and, and get this done. What helped you as far as other people's support? The answer is just treat them the same way when they are diagnosed and after they are diagnosed as you did beforehand because in my experience the, the best friends and people around me, the ones who didn't change how they, how they saw me, changed the way they treated, uh, treated me or acted around me because obviously I'd already had so much change within my life in that time, my world had been tipped upside down and the last thing I needed was for the people who I was closest to to change how they, how they saw me or treated me. When you look back at it and you just sort of sit here now, what are you most proud of? How the experiences that I've had, I've been able to, to turn them into a positive benefit for, for other people and particularly what comes to mind for me is uh, other kids who I've supported going through the same cancer as me and, and their families that I've been able to, to stand alongside because uh, I know from my experience that when you're in that place it can be incredibly lonely um, and lonely for a family and, and the medical professionals are fantastic but sometimes you need someone who's not a doctor or a nurse to, to, to lean on who actually gets it. What advice can you give to people from your experiences if they are facing obstacles, challenges or roadblocks in their life, their health or in their endeavour? If, if I look back to the biggest roadblock or, or speed bump in my life being my experience with cancer and my illness, uh, the, certainly the thing which got me through that experience was leaning on people around me and, and, and uh, making those connections with people who were close to me and, and that's something which really drew me through the experience and that wasn't just my family and friends and my partner, um, it was also the nurses that were there, uh, it was the doctors, it was the cleaners, it was the lunch ladies, it was any bit of humanity that I could, could bring into, into my world and, and latch on to that, that helped me through those times. Jake, you're an inspiration, mate. We thank you so much for being part of the Inspire Foundation. Thank you for your talk. Thank you for doing this interview. We really appreciate you. It's an absolute honour. Thanks for having me.